everyone, today I'm doing something that I have never done before. It is a what's in my bag, well actual bags video. Do you guys want to see this? I don't know, I saw someone doing it and I'm like, oh maybe I'll do that. I've never done a what's in my anything video. Well maybe what's in my closet. That's it. So please, you guys gotta tell me. Do you wanna see this or do you not? Because there's stories behind everything that comes with me every single day and I'm gonna share with you. So if you guys like this video or if you like this channel, please make sure you tap that subscribe button right down there. If it is red, that means you need to turn it gray by giving it a little tap, tap, tap that. And that way we will see each other every Saturday or whenever you want to. And I am going to do a giveaway so you guys need to stay tuned because I'm going to give away one of my favorite things in my handbag and you guys are gonna want this, so make sure you stay tuned. And my life's in photos on Instagram, but you know what, let's stop with the self-promotion. Let's get to what you came here for. All right, now, I don't ever carry just one bag. I carry two because I work at home and I work at my office, so I'm constantly going back and forth. And I also think it's a really smart to have my two bags because it's everything is with me at all times. I'm ready if anything. I don't know why I'm acting like this, but I'm ready for whatever life brings me. So let's get to I don't know why I'm making this noise, but I guess this is just how happy this makes me. This is my Gucci bag that I just got. I'm sure this bag has a name. I have no idea what the name is, but this is a great story. So my husband was in Milan for work. It sounds like so fancy. I mean, he's never been to Milan for work. He's only been once. <laughs> he was in Milan for work, and when he came home from work, he handed me the box and this was inside. Oh my God, I love her so much. I don't mean to be all lame, because to be quite honest, I'm not, I don't have a ton of designer bags. I just, I don't know, I put my money more into my business and investments and whatnot, but I just really had my eye on this. What I love about it is the fact that it has the mixed metals, it has the muted tarnished silver, and then it has the bronze, and then I just feel like the combination is so chic. Uh, so I carry this, and then, I also carry a tote bag. This is Goyard. You know what, I'm sounding like I'm a big label. I'll just say it, label whore. I look like a label whore with these two designer bags, but let me tell you, most of the designer bags I have are right here. I don't um, have a ton. So I carry, I always carry a tote, and it's not always a Goyard, it's whatever. I have a bunch of tote bags. And then I carry my small bag so that I have it in here. So when I'm not working, I can take this out or if I'm running in a store and I don't need the big bulky bag. So that's my philosophy behind carrying both bags. I think we have that clear. All right, let's get back to her or him or whatever. Um, so this is a new baby and let's see what we got in here. This is a typical Lindsay thing. This is not smart. My husband would be like, I don't know why you do that. That's so dumb. That's how you lose things. But I must have taken my rings off for whatever reason and I put them in here. And yeah, these are expensive rings. They're gold and you know, diamonds. So my rings are in a little pouch and they shouldn't be there. They should be on my hands or in my jewelry box. So we'll just put those over here. So that's what's in that little, what else do we got in here? Um, first of all, this purse is so small, you can barely carry anything. You can pretty much just carry your phone, and I don't know why I have a wallet in here because it takes up everything. But I have a wallet, um, and this, another little present to myself, this is a Balenciaga wallet. I love it so much. It looks like a fun little carnival. It's so exciting. I just love the stripes, and I love the colors, and just so many things and it's kind of has the, it's just the old school kind of wallet flap open style. Um, so what do we got in here? We have, you know, all the boring stuff. I don't think you guys need me to go through my credit cards, but I have my bank statement and I have a bunch of receipts. Where did I shop? Target. I stopped at Target 254. Another bank receipt. Oh, another bank receipt. I'm going to the bank a lot. Uh, Zara. You know what? This probably sums up most of my shopping life. Zara and Target, always there. Um, what else? Um, Madewell, Madewell has the best jeans. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing them. Can you see them? Madewell jeans, best jeans. I get the high rise, they hug it all in and they don't stretch out. They're like this best kept secret because anybody I talk to who's worn Madewell jeans are like, oh my God, I know, I love them too. I wear them all the time. So just a little um, unknown or known secret. I don't know if I'm telling you guys anything new, but Madewell jeans, so good. So Madewell receipt, 
And then I always, always, always have cash on me because you know you always need a little cash and don't you hate to be that a-hole that needs to tip somebody or whether at valet or wherever and you don't have cash and you're just like, oh, I'll get you next time and then you never do. You, you, you know, we've all been there. Um, what else is this? Okay, so that's the wallet story. Um, now I have, I always have this lipstick on me. It is the perfect matte pinky nude. This is by Orbe. Have you guys heard of Orbe? It's usually hair care and hair products, but they started doing makeup or maybe they always have. It's just honestly the everyday, no matter what, from casual to work to night out. It's just universally really flattering neutral color and it stays on, it stays put. It doesn't get crackly and dry. I love it. It's called Supernatural. I carry this with me all the time. A lens cleaner. I always have one of these on me and when I don't, I get really irked and annoyed because I wear sunglasses constantly. I live in California and there's always, we have our phones in our hands all the time. It's the, the lenses or the, yeah, the lenses are always getting smudged. So I always have one or two or three of these on me because they are an absolute necessity. Um, the next thing I have, it hair ties. Ugh, gotta have hair tie, a good, strong hair tie that will actually hold a ponytail through a one hour workout class, very important. These are awesome, they work so well. And then I also always have one of these disposable eyelash brushes, or they're not disposable, I use them constantly. Because I've told you guys, I have eyelash extensions, so at any moment I'm constantly combing my eyelashes. Is that weird? No, it's not, no, it's not. And then when you get a crazy brow, you know, you just look in and just, just, put all that stuff in place and that's what this does. Love it. Okay, so that's what's in the Gucci. Oh, one more thing, eye cream. This might sound weird, but you guys, I'm 30 years old. Did you hear me, 30? Yep, that's how old I am. Um, so I always have, and it's also really dry in California, so I always have a little eye cream, so maybe at the end of the day, I'm feeling a little you know, dry or I need a refresh or a little zhuzh, I just, I just put a little on, and this is um, Shiseido. Wrinkle resist, yes, wrinkle resist me, please. I'll put this on, I'll hire someone to put this on every second of the day. Now on to the business side of the bags, because, because probably if I didn't have to carry my laptop with me absolutely everywhere I went, I probably wouldn't carry this tote. No, maybe I would, because that's a really tiny bag. Okay, yeah, maybe I would. Okay, here's my computer. Now, I feel like this computer kind of makes me seem like I'm just a crazy, erratic, bull in a china closet kind of person because it is cracked here. It's, cra it's cracked on all corners, cracked, cracked. I'm pretty certain that I just pick up and put it places, but it just looks like I'm chucking it and I have no idea why, but it's kind of embarrassing. I went to a meeting a few weeks ago and I like, open my computer on the side because I'm like, I don't want them to see that I look like a psycho. My Goyard tote, I love this. It is a little expensive. I have other totes that are cheaper. I recently got this. It's a Parisian brand. I love that it's not overly labeled. I don't like a lot of monograms or logos on things. I prefer to be a little bit more understated and that is exactly what this is. Now, okay, so here is where I get to the Mary Poppins part. This is all of the stuff that that I use. If I was stranded, if there was an apocalypse or an earthquake, I am prepared. I mean, this is even a pillow if I get stranded somewhere. I mean, this is just, there's everything. And this is actually the giveaway item. I am giving this away. It's real leather. And whomever I'm giving this away to, I'm going to have it engraved or engraved, embossed with your initials. So super exciting. I just love this so much. It comes with me everywhere and it has all the goodies in it, which I will show you. But to enter this giveaway, you have to click the link in the description below and enter your email address. Now, don't worry, you guys, the email address is just going to me. I'm not sharing this email with anyone other than myself. 
like I only have it. So enter your email address and then you will be entered to win this. I will announce the winner in the next few weeks, probably on Instagram, but I'll also put it in the comments of this video, but super exciting. So if you love this, make sure, cause this is a really good giveaway. I think this is like, I don't know, it's a hundred something dollars, just such a great item. And I'm so excited to buy it and give it away to one of you lucky friends out there because I promise you will use it, use it, use it, use it, use it, and love it just like I do. All right, so let's get to the guts of this bag. Um, almonds, the saddest snack in the snack world. It is sad. I tell everyone, you only eat almonds because it's a low calorie filling snack. Not because, oh, I just love almonds. No, you would rather eat chips, you would rather eat donuts, you'd rather eat anything other than almonds. But we eat almonds because they're healthy and they fill you up. But I hate it. I hate almonds, but I eat them. Favorite things, favorite things ever. I am a bit of uh, not a hypochondriac or a germaphobe. Well, maybe I am, because my husband always is like, babe, you know if you sanitize everything, it's just gonna make you more susceptible to getting sick because you're not ingesting the bad bacteria that builds up your immune system. Oh my God, that's totally what he says. And I'm like, um, it's fine. I'm not like walking through life with a handy wipe in my hand, wiping every single surface. Like, no, I'm not. But these come in really handy, especially, you know, in LA, you have to valet a lot, so a lot of people's hands on your steering wheel, steering, blah, steering wheel <laughs> and wiping that off. And I just think, you know, I'm always out and about meeting new people. So I think it's just smart, you know, every now and then just wiping off your hands. And it's just, just such a great thing to have. And I'm telling you, when I have these and I'm around someone and I'm using one, everyone's like, oh, can I use one? Yes, you can. Mints, this is the only mint that I use. I do not chew gum because who wants to be like, no, 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 that's, I do not like that look. Sorry, no offense to those of you guys who are gum chewers, but for me, I just do not feel like it's good. good luck. So I love this Icebreakers Mint Spearmint flavor only. The other flavors are weird. One of them tastes like Pepto-Bismol. This is the best one. So I always have these Tums. Mm, yeah, you know, sometimes you get a little Now I know this totally goes against me saying that I'm a germaphobe because I not only have those antibacterial wipes, I also have hand sanitizer, but there's a reason for this. And I love this because it smells like an orange creamsicle and it's by Honest Company, so there's like no weird chemicals. I don't know how it kills germs and bacteria, but Honest says it does. Ugh, it smells so good when you use it. Oh my God, it smells delicious. But the other thing I use this for, okay, so I travel a lot. I'm on planes a lot. You know when someone passes gas and you're like, oh my God, and you're trying like not to freak out and you're just putting your, you know, your hand over your face or your head in your shirt. And you're just like, oh my God, this is disgusting. So for me, what I do is when someone starts stinking up the cabin, I literally just start spraying this. Or I'll, okay, I'll be a little bit more like relaxed and I'll spray it on my hands and then I'll just be like. And then I freshened up my airspace and usually the person next to me is like, oh, that smells good. And I'm like, yeah, we needed it. Dual purpose, love this stuff. Okay, let's speed it up here. Um, Lara bars, I always have snacks with me. You saw the almonds, I love these because they are vegan, they have five ingredients, no refined sugar. It's literally like dates and nuts and just healthiness. It tastes like a cinnamon roll. It's so good. Love them. Um, face spritzer because after a long day, day's work, a girl needs a little help. I need a revive. I need a zhuzh. I need some life. I need some moisture. And that is what this does. This is by Pixie. It's makeup fixing mist. And it's also like got good stuff in it. So it like refreshes you. Um, I always, forever, I have no idea why, but I have used the L'Oreal True Match comp, Compact whatever for like 10 years. I've probably had this for five years. I know some of you may be like, that's not disgusting, but whatever. I rarely use a compact because I am my age and you'd rather be oily than dry because dry, dryness seeks in because dryness seeps into your creases and shows your wrinkles. So I'd rather rock an oily face than rock a matte face that has no shine or anything. So <laughs> that's just how I feel about that. Um, Advil, always carry Advil. This is my medication of choice. Yep, um, this is really cool. No, it's not. Get your head out of the gutter. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this, 
This is a very chic, very stylish lint brush. It's by Flint. I mean, look, how, how cute is this? I love this. And, you know, it's the winter, you know, you're wearing sweaters and stuff, and, you know, it just is so great, and when you use it, yeah, and it's also a lot of fun. Okay. So you get it, it's a lint brush. A lot of time lint brushes, they're exposed and then it gets stuck to your hair tie and then it gets stuck to candy and gum and this, it's enclosed. Love that. Um, uh, headphones, that's boring. Hair tie, pen, always have this stuff with me. Oh, I love this lipstick. It's by Mally. I don't know the name of it because I used it down. It's so good. Can you guys see? It's like the perfect peachy nude. And last but definitely not least, sunglasses. I always have sunglasses on me. Um, I love sunglasses. I think they complete an outfit. I think they help you channel different looks and style sensibilities. I just can't say enough. And I recently got these. Um, we're seeing that extreme cat eye. We're seeing those extreme micro cat eyes in fashion right now. And I jumped right on board and I bought a pair. These are Les Specs, I think. Um, a collaboration with Adam Selman. I have no idea who that is. But I just feel like, I mean, look, I'm in a sweatshirt, I'm in jeans, I'm like, you know, just doing life like normal. I'm going to the grocery store, I'm going to the bank. But when I put these on, I'm like doing those things in a whole other way. Don't you think? Do you guys like these? I'll link the line below, but I just love them so much. I think they're super cool. I just think they add like a, a very extreme style element to any outfit and they're just fun. I mean, you just gotta have fun with fashion. Don't take it too seriously and don't think like, oh, should I wear that, should I not, I don't know. Just go for it, who cares? I'm giving you the free pass right now. Just go for it. Stop thinking, I don't know if I should or if it's too much, just go for it. So um, yeah, that's those. All right, so that's the what's in my bag video. It was kind of long-winded and it's clear that, you know, I carry a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on in this in this life, in this Lindsay life. All right, now let's get to the important part, the giveaway. You guys make sure that you click the link in the description below and enter your email address so you can win this Mark and Graham pouch. And when we pick the winner, I will get your initials so we can have them embossed on the bag just like this. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you like this video. If you're like Lindsay, stick to like something else because this was like boring and I was sleeping and it wasn't fun but the giveaway was great so hope you like that <laughs> thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed make sure to tap that button below and give me a subscribe I upload videos every Saturday and I hope I will see you next bye everyone